Well, well, Bumblebee was actually formed back in 1897 up in Astoria, Oregon. And uh, back then we were predominantly a salmon company. And the initial name of the company was the CRPA, the Columbia River Packers Association. Started our operations here in San Diego in the early 70s, uh, where we acquired a company that was doing canned tuna production, literally under the Coronado Bridge, which is only about five minutes from here. We kind of made a commitment to ourselves when we achieved a billion in revenue, it was going to be time to start looking for some new offices. We stumbled upon this building, and uh, this building is called the Shawley Brothers Candy Factory, and it dates back to 1924. It's owned by the Padres, and we are technically inside of uh, Petco Park, inside of the Padres Stadium. I think one of the most exciting aspects of their project was their interest in moving into a historic building that is part of the ballpark in San Diego. This great brick building, heavy timbers, three stories, historic, you know, original glass on the outside. So when you look at the, the glass windows, they have a wave to them because some of them are over 100 years old. We worked very hard to try to incorporate some legacy items from um, the fishing industry in Southern California and with Bumblebee in San Diego in particular. So their main boardroom, the legs for the boardroom table are constructed out of these old steel baskets that they used to steam the cans when they were doing the canning of the tuna. The light fixtures are made out of steel baskets that they used to keep the bait in when they would go out and fish for tuna. IA was the group that really kind of nailed it and they came in and basically shared the vision that we had for the property. We were able to select a carpet from Interface that is made from nylon that is harvested from abandoned fishing nets from around the world. In addition to that, you've got all the historic photographs that we were able to work with the San Diego Historical Society to incorporate into the building. So obviously everyone knows Bumblebee as canned tuna, and we've got tuna cans throughout the space. They are sandwiched between plexiglass to be dividers between space. Um, they're the backdrop for the reception area when you first walk in. That green aspect to the space of the recycled content of the carpet, the recycled content that's used within the furniture of the space, all really create a very environmental friendly, very sustainable practice for Bumblebee.